Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. Today, once again, we are joined by top barbecue chef, Mr. Richard Holden. Hello. And in this video, we're going to be doing a pork chop uh, with an apple coleslaw yep. and a rocket goat's cheese. Asparagus, asparagus, walnut, little green salad on the side. Right. But the most important thing, we're going to cook the pork chops on a Weber Go Anywhere charcoal grill, yep. which we've got sat there going nicely. We have. So the prep on this is really simple. All we're going to do is season it with some salt and pepper and okay. a little bit of oil. So um, if I can get you to do the oil, I'll sprinkle the salt and the pepper. Uh, locally sourced pork, got a good flavor in it itself. So very little needs to be done to this. And we've also got some really good flavors coming from the accompaniments in the form of the coleslaw and the, and the goat's cheese salad. So a little bit of salt. This bottle is against me today. Is it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. So we'll just rub that in. There we go, turn that over and we'll do the same on the second. So again, something really simple. We've got the barbecue set up for um, heat in the left, nothing in the right. So we've got an indirect and uh, this is just a really simple, nice little dinner for two really. Let's have a look at our barbecue. We've got the coals fully lit for this one and we've got heat, as I say, in the left hand side. So uh, non-stick spray, if you want to bring the pork chops, bit of non-stick spray on there. And what we'll do is we're going to grill these over the direct heat to begin with. Nice sizzle. Nice sizzle. Okay. Thank you. Lid on. Now with the with the, uh, the go anywhere, we have two vents on the top and then the two vents on the lower section as well. Vents fully open. You can already see the smoke coming out from the sizzle. Um, lid down cooking, reduces flare up, keeps the smoky flavor inside that we're, getting, we're generating from the fat stripping through and hitting the hot coals. And it's also going to cook our pork chops quicker. So I would say about two, two and a half, three minutes on the first side, we'll have a check, we'll turn them over and we'll, we'll come back. Right, let's have a look at the pork chops. They've had looking a roundabout. Good. They are looking pretty stellar actually. Um, so let's use the uh, digital temperature probe just to see whereabouts we are in the cooking process. So 52, 53, not quite there yet. So as I said before, we've got the heat in this side from the coals and we've yeah. got no heat in this side that's just indirect so what that allows us to do is just to drag those across so they're off the area of indirect heat we can put the lid down let those carry on cooking through and um, we're looking for a temperature because normally we'd say 75 stay alive for anything cooked through but with pork modern pork that's well sourced high welfare pork you can actually cook it to 65 if you're not sure cook it to 75 but we're going to be looking for around about 65 on these ones so we'll give them a few minutes and then we'll come back okay all right let's have a check all right looking good they are we've got the uh we're not just quite the right way around maybe for the crackling to show for the camera but if we just pop that in we are up at we're 65 we're good to go on that one and we'll just check the back one as well oh come here Yep, back to go. So let's bring these out. So we haven't turned these over, we just grill them on the first side, grill them on the second side, and then slid them across to the area of indirect heat. And that's one of the tricks with grilling is to try and turn the food over as little as possible because the more you turn it, the drier it's gonna go. So if I just we just use the bones as our guide. Slicing around there, slice through. But the go anywhere really does have that opportunity, as we've seen with the Smoky Joe as well on the portables, has that opportunity to really go for indirect cooking just by putting yeah. the fuel to one side. So even at 65, that is cooked cool. beautifully all the way through, nice and juicy. Um, and that is just going to go with our apple, apple and mustard slaw and our goat cheese rocket and walnut salad. Obviously, if you don't like walnuts or if you have an allergy, leave them out. Maybe put some dried fruits in there, like a, a dried cranberry or something like that, but choice is completely up to you. The recipe is just a starting point, but um, what we'll do is just have a look at this one and then, uh, and then we'll plate up the salads with it and everything else and then we'll be good to go. Crackling looks amazing on that. Can I try a bit? Of course you can. Thank you. Seeing as I never get to eat on camera. Again, beautiful pork. That is really nice. 
Benefit of cooking outdoors, the barbecue is going to draw in that moist air, that damp air, keep your food nice and succulent. And then if I just grab, so we've got our pork there, and then we'll take a handful. I'm just going to transfer this onto here, but nice little sharing platter for two, maybe a few more, but and a little bit of your apple slaw as well. This is just white cabbage, uh, some shards of um, a red, um, apple, some mayonnaise, and some whole grain mustard. Nice and simple. So if you'd like to find out more information about this recipe, visit our website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. If you'd like to know more about the products we've used in this video, visit the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. All our staff constantly cooking on barbecues, always striving to learn more dishes. Um, we're across all the social media platforms, so if you do create this dish, share it, tag us in it. We're always keen to see people recreating them. If you've liked this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. And uh, I've tried it, so it's already really tasty. Really good. Really ni uh, nice little bit of smoky flavour coming through as well, from keeping the lid down, fats and all that. So, really, really effective bit of kit to cook on. Okay, we'll see you next time.